Okay, so when you start out, you should have this. You know, this kind of stuff like this. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is you go to this this box that says, says 12.0 frames per second. Double click it, and you should get this box. Now, change the dimensions to 1920 and 1080. I think it's best because, you know, it's full screen for computers and stuff. And then change the frame rate to 24. I think it's better if you have it 24 because it's better if you get used to it early on. You know what I mean. You click this magnifying glass. Click this. Reduce. You know, you got the size so that you can see everything. Now, there's two people. There's two ways that people animate stick figures. There's like brush, and there's like a line. Yeah. Well, you can use either way because for brush, press B. You know, or you can just click this. And for line, press N. Or you can just click this. And, well, I started using brush. And, uh, I think it's better, but, you know. Now, the first thing about brush is, like, uh, I don't know where to start. Oh, the smooth. Like, damn it, I hate this way. So, if it adds four, it's not very, well, you know, it doesn't really smooth out, but if you add more, get smoother you know stuff like that 90 it's a lot smoother so yeah that's something cool and then, well to be honest I kind of like like 45 it's just like in between it's pretty nice and then another thing I like to have on is this ob object drawing this little square in a circle so like whenever you draw there's like this blue box so like when you do something and then if you mess up then you can just do like you know make it better or you can remove this but let me show you like if you don't have the box on you have like this and then you mess on one thing you can't really change it unless you delete the entire thing so yeah that's why I really like this so you know all right now uh, okay so when you start your first sticker animation, there, there's this timeline thing. So, you just, I don't know, just draw, like, some stick figure. Alright. And then, now, okay, click on some random frame, like 10 or something, and press F6. So, it should be, like, you know, just, like, 10 seconds, I don't know. And then, click this, onion skin. Just move this, so you can see what the previous frame is like, like this. Now, now you can just like, animate stuff. But, oh, okay, awesome. When you want to make a new frame, just press F7 and you just spam and you do this, make extra frames. And when you, yeah, you just draw stuff. But I say I recommend you doing when you, when you, the stick mass starts moving, you click this and select everything, and then. You, you click this free transform tool or press Q and you get this. Now select it. Uh, I right click and then copy. Press F7. Go to the next frame. Paste it in place. Yeah, remember paste it in place. Now you select it and you move it. You get on this and, and you move it just slightly. And then you repeat. And like, you know. Like, it gets, it moves more every time, so, like, you know, I'll show you, like, this, like, starts this smoothish movement, and then, don't do too much, I want to show you an example, because if you do too much, it just looks pretty weird, like, let me show you. Alright, does this look good? Yeah. Just do, like, I only do, like, three frames, and then I just actually start drawing stickers after that. Yeah. You know. Okay, uh, I just start drawing stuff. Alright. Pretty rushing here, but, you know. And also, this press Q, and this is pretty useful, like, made to make it a little faster, a little taller, a little bit shorter. You know, mess around with stuff. I actually fix animations. It helps me a lot. 
Nash, yeah. And then, well, I don't really know what to do next, but, well, if you want to move frames like you messed up on something, like, click it, like, drag, and there's, like, this black thing, you right-click it, and you can actually, actually, like, move the frames, like, if you messed up on something. Now, uh, there's also another thing called motion twins. Well, alright, so there's, like, let's just draw something, like, stick right here. Like that. Okay, let me draw, like, oh yeah, to make heads, you can draw them, like, you know, Alan Becker. Or, like, you can just, you know, press, click this over to or press O and you make a circle. But that's how I, I make my heads. Now, you select this, well now I just click slide like all the way to like you know, here. And then you move it so like you know, just move it like this. You right click on this and collect uh, select create motion tool. You get this. Yeah. But well, motion trees are useful, but I'm gonna show you another way you can use them. And I use it, this a lot. Like, you know. Okay, for, okay, press R for rectangle. And then, make, and then, uh, this is kind of confusing, like, like this. And then, click out for 5 or 0, I just use 5. And then, you make a rectangle covering the entire screen. And then, select something like this. Press F6. And then, you... Go to Alpha and select 100. Now, when you click on this, go all the way down tween, click click none, and click shape. You should be like, yeah, going darker. So I use that a lot. Like, you know, you look at animations, there's always a screen fade. Oh, uh, I don't know what else to say, but. Oh. Hmm. Alright. Okay, uh...